Hello and welcome back to Carville New Zealand. Today we work on the Legacy's interior. Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to be doing things to the interior of the Legacy. So the Legacy has a few issues and a few defects on the inside. So when you're dialing a vehicle, you want all of these things to work. Um, let's get straight into it and I'll show you what I mean. Check this out. As soon as you jump into the Legacy, the very first thing everyone bloody notices in this car is the surround trim. It's actually broken. Um, so yeah, as you guys can see, it's actually broken. There's a massive snap there. And another thing is when you're dialing your car and you really want to use your heater and stuff, you actually want the vents to face because whenever I want to use a vent, it wants to face the other way and I want it to face the other way. You can see it's actually broken and it just, just doesn't work. So I have bought all the replacement parts right here. Um, if it focuses, yeah, there we go. It's all here. Um, sadly, one thing I did, was I gutted the cigarette lighter hole plug thinking that the uh, pick apart lady will you know discount me on that but she didn't she actually charged me for a whole cigarette lighter so that was a waste of money and I do not know how to bloody take this cigarette lighter out of this hole so I can stop it with that one that's already in there but this is perfect there's no cracks no defects at all on this one um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. Um, if anyone's working with this model of Legacy and uh, realizes that this is kind of hard to take out, yes it is hard to take out because there's two screws under here in the metal uh, with the ashtray. I don't know if anyone's made an interior video about this or not, but um, it's relatively easy to pop this out. Um, it doesn't come out that easily uh, because this has been taken out so many times that it's much easier. This cubby thing is also broken here, which I bought a spare. I forgot to say that when I was showing you guys all the defects. So yeah, it's clearly been snapped from here. The screws go right here. And yeah, this, this piece is just... Uh, so yeah, I'll have to... Uh, yeah, it just straight away comes out. Uh, usually it won't come out like that. There's literally a metal piece uh, just here, basically it's screwed in so you have to get a little stubby short screwdriver to undo it it is absolutely a pain in the butt i tried to do this one and i had to actually break it luckily uh nothing broke on the actual piece but i did break the metal piece um i'll show you what that looks like uh it basically goes i think underneath here it goes like that and it's screwed through this hole so you have to f you know go under here and feel it um, I wish it would focus. There we go. So you have to feel it and undo the screws. I'm just going to zip tie them because I do not want to re-screw this. Um, zip tie uh, will just work just fine. So hopefully this works. Let's go. So yeah, this is the back of the cigarette lighter plug. There needs to be a plug like this that goes over it. We have we had to put this on because um, someone cut the plug off beforehand and wired it to the bloody radio. Uh, so this needs to go on there like that and um, there's an extra plug for I, I'm not too sure what the extra plug or oh, whoops it just fell down that of course that's gonna happen on the video um, I think I'm gonna start off with the vents fist so let's go ahead Let's see if this new piece uh, actually works. So, there's a red light here. If I turn the cigarette light on, yep, that means. There we go, there is the new vents. They actually face 
uh, all at the same time like at why <laughs> they just face all in the same direction is what I mean and also this new marble finish is amazing no longer no more split up there and the cup holder thing actually works better than the old one um, if you don't know this is how it works you pull it out and then there boom oh man that toilet paper ruined my shot but yeah there we go and then we close it oh there we go you have to click it in it looks so much better and the vents are definitely going to be less of a distraction because before you were driving around and you try to finger the bloody thing to face your way now no longer are uh, down here if you can see um, the cigarette lighter stop went ahead really well the ashtray i still have to figure that out i do not want to use the screws and the zip ties are getting in the way of the ashtray but i'll sort that out later because we need to take this car out even uh, like in like 20 minutes so yeah um, another thing uh, I need to do is put in the cubby. The cubby needs to go into the screws. The screws are down there. Uh, it's been sent downstairs because obviously I'm working out on the road. No, not in the garage at the moment. So uh, I've sent it down to be washed really thoroughly and then dried and it'll come back and then I will install the cubby properly as well. And then all the interior is basically mint and fresh again so yeah i'm quite glad that i actually found this at pick apart um in mint condition the exact same marble finish so yeah i'll show you i'll just actually bring the um the broken one now so as you can see this is the before one it's got a massive split and you can see someone's actually tried to bloody glue it at the back there and it's just horrible even the cup holder thing like it doesn't come out fully if the kind of pull it so this was a bit of a score so this is what it kind of looks like the cubbies are now installed the final thing to do here is obviously I will be taking all of this out but the final thing to do here obviously is um, plug our dash camera Siggy lighter thingy should look pretty decent look at that that looks freaking decent now that is a decent install really everything looks good obviously the ashtray is giving me a bit of OCD I will fix that I promise I will fix that eventually but there's the old stuff all out all the broken shit can just piss off but yeah, all the new pieces have been installed, $60 worth of interior pieces, totally worth it. I uh, love this thing. Oh yeah. Okay, it's getting really dark, you can see behind me, you can barely see anything. This is a car by the way. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, I will continue this on uh, in the daylight, so yeah, for you guys it'll be right now. Hello everyone, it's the next day. And uh, today we are going to be working on the outside because we've already done the interior piece. I'll show you real quickly what the interior looks like right now. You, as you can see it looks really good and it's all one piece. I still need to do the ashtray bit because I got the bolts for that. But now we need to work on this. Um, it looks really ugly if you can see that. Um, it just, just looks really bad and I, I think it's just over time flaked off and I've got paint for it so we're gonna to touch up some of the exterior today as well so let's get busy standing A hole in the cap I don't even oh. <laughs> why is there a hole in the cap for it.
you all played? So, you guys can probably see, I don't know if you can see or not, but this is the center console and that's where the ashtray is. And there's two little holes, I've talked about this so many times. I tried to zip tie it but my dumbass forgot that it's going to get in the way of the rails. So, we now have to cut those off and actually I'm going to do a proper bolt, a little tiny bolt that goes through there. And hopefully it doesn't hit anything up here. Uh, I'll probably have to end up chopping the bolt off, so yeah. Let's let's do that. Okay, a little bit of an update, sorry, uh, my camera died, so I'm using the best cell phone there is in the house, uh, S9, but anyway, uh, let's get to this, um, I finally fixed this, the ashtray actually works now, um, the, the piece behind it, the thing that all screws into, I cut that out and obviously you guys saw I put my own bolts in, the cigarette lighter stopped working because the fuse blew up and um, the fuses are under there, and uh, to confirm that the fuses were blown, the mirrors don't work because they're linked up together but this now finally works everything's perfect um obviously that's the thing and um, yeah there's the ashtray i'll just move this gear stick back you can see it actually doesn't look uh that bad i do want to get this a frame i think it's missing a frame or maybe this one's missing a frame i'm not too sure so there's going to, so this looks really nice um everything's sitting properly as well Eventually, I'll be getting a three cigarette lighter adapter here uh, So we can plug more shit in and yeah, that's that's basically done So now we will be moving on to the little bits and pieces so the little bits and pieces are I don't know if this is JDM. I guess it is because we have JDM stuff as a JDM fuel cap The only reason being is because we don't have this piece here. So I got a new one you can see it's in the mirror hell yeah, but What's the other pieces? Oh, this, this, this was so loose, it just fell off. So we need to replace that, and also this side. Um, that's just a bit of tar. and it actually looks really good because we've um, you know cut and polished it just little touches want to make this daily really nice so as you can see damn that's actually a nicer fuel cap because it says Subaru on it but you can see they, they're quite different but this one actually just goes in here like that Oh, this is kind of difficult to do, but we'll get it done. Yep. So that's in. Hopefully this fits. Yeah, mate, I think you need to stop spreading around your herpes. That's probably going to... Oh, okay, I need to go. I need to do the outro. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. You can see it's beautiful. Uh, there's some harsh outlines here, but we've done everything we could. And we're going to be doing more things to this next time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it. Subscribe. And uh, there's going to be more great content coming on this car and the SDI. See you later. Peace. Yeah, go. Ugh. Hello, everyone. Don't stop recording until I tell you to. She just stopped because a thing leaked. This is the type of person that like records a fight and then like points the phone down. Recording? Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell me when you record though? <laughs> How do I know? I'm just like here doing my thing and you just record like... Okay, I'm recording. <coughs> Hello everybody. <laughs> <laughs>